not record this class. So we start now. Uh, we have overcrowded buses really make me mad. I, what's, uh, they don't have, I can't even understand the, I have to delete the, oh, annotate, no, no, it's not annotate, it's the tool. The eraser, have to, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, taping, state, no, what? Are you sure to delete? Yes. 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 I'm sure I went to the, I don't know what the bottom is not responding to me. It puts this and I don't want that thing. What's wrong with this? What's wrong? Mm, it like it get like stuck, you know. I could even turn the page. I hate this. Oh, because that bottom. Okay, I'm gonna yes. I'm going to delete everything. Oh, it even delete the book. Ah uh, no. Oh yes. Yes. Okay. But now how can they delete this thing? So we have overcrowded buses really make me mad. I wonder why they don't have more buses at brush hour. Umbrellas are so poorly made these days. I don't know why they always break in the wind. My cell phone never works around here. I can understand why the reception is so bad. Automatic phones menus drive me crazy. Why, what I don't get why companies don't have people answer their phones. The closing those shops are unbelievably expensive. How anyone can afford them is beyond me. And the college course I want uh, is really popular. My big concern is whether I'll be able to get into the class. So, and now, well, we have that, we're gonna look to the complex and simple and direct questions. I'm going to highlight the expressions that we use to introduce them. Uh, okay. So here we have, I wonder, I wonder is one of the, the expressions that introduce the question. I don't know why they, uh, they always break in the wind. I can't understand why the reception is so bad. And then the next one, what I don't get, what I don't get is an unbelievably, no, wait, how many, no, no, wait, here, how many, I can, I can, I cannot delete this. How anyone can afford this is beyond me. That's the expression. And my big concern is where I'll be able to get into the class. That's the question. Okay, uh, here, here in this part, we have the indirect statements or expressions that allow us to make the, um, well, you will see later in the explanation. Now we're gonna listen through uh, the conversation and it says, listen to Gabriel using an automatic phone menu. Is he successful? Choose the best summary you know, of the conversation, which one, the A, B or C, and please, Take notes of the next question. What's the name of the store? What's uh, his pres prescription number? What is his phone number? What time does he want to pick up his prescription? So write it down in the chat. Meanwhile, you're listening to the recording. Yes, it was wonderful, but I couldn't see. Okay, I'm gonna play the, the audio, guys. So let's gonna listen. Unit 10. Lesson B, page 84, exercise two. If this is correct, say yes. Part B, listen to Gabriel using an automated phone menu. Is he successful? Choose the best summary. Hello, thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy's automated phone message system. Please listen carefully to our menu options. 
If you are calling from a physician's office, say, physician. If you need to speak to someone at the pharmacy, say, pharmacist. If you are calling to refill a prescription and know your prescription number, say, refill. If you wish to hear these options repeated, say, repeat. Refill. Using our automated voice recognition system, please say your prescription number, which is located in the upper right-hand corner in the pink shaded area. 0422708837. I heard 0422708837. Seven. If this is correct, please say yes. Yes. Now say the phone number where you can be reached in case the pharmacist has a question. Three 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 five 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 one two three. I heard three 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 five 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 one two three. If this is correct. Please say yes. Yes. Your refillable prescription will be ready by 8.15 a.m. If you would like to pick it up then, say yes. If you would like to pick it up later, please say later. Later. What time would you like to pick up your prescription? Uh, nine. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. I said nine. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Nine, nine, nine. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Please call again later. Thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy. Goodbye. <clears throat> okay. So now to summarize what they said, uh, we have what what letter best describe the situation of this conversation. He can feel his prescription because the machine didn't recognize what he said. Exactly, no? So don't you think that all those services are awful when you're doing those automatized that you have to answer with a voice and then they say, I don't understand. No, it takes like a lot of time, especially in the banks. Now, did you get the, what's the name of the store? Did anyone get the name of the store? Page 84, exercise two. If this is correct, say and. Hello, thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy's automated phone message system. So what's the name of the, of the store? And you repeat the audio. Yep. Yeah. And answer the questions. Hello. Thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy's automated phone message system. Diagnostic Pharmacy. The Dial. Dial. Uh, dial. Hello, thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy's automated. Dial Right. Hello, thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy's auto. Pharmacies. Mm -hmm. Dial Right Pharmacies, yes. And what's the prescription number? Automated phone message system. Write it down. Please listen carefully to our menu options. If you are calling from a physician's office, say physician. If you need to speak to someone at the pharmacy, say pharmacist. If you are calling to refill a prescription and know your prescription number, say refill. If you wish to hear these options repeated, say repeat. Refill. Using our automated voice recognition system, please say your prescription number, which is located in the upper right hand corner in the pink shaded area. Zero four two two seven zero eight eight three seven. I heard zero four two two seven zero eight eight three 
7. If this is correct, please say yes. Okay, perfect. What is his phone number? Yes. 333-555-5123. Three. If this is correct, please say yes. Yeah. If one, two, three. I heard three, 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 five, 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 one, two, three. If this is correct, please say yes. Yes. Your refillable prescription will be ready by 8.15 a.m. If you would like to pick it up then, say yes. If you would like to pick it up later, please say later. Late. I'm sorry. Later. Later. What time would you like to pick up your prescription? Uh, nine. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. I said nine. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Nine, nine, nine. I'm sorry, I can't understand you. Please call again later. Thank you for calling the Dial Right Pharmacy. Yeah. So he said nine, like in Deutsch. This is nine, 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 nine. Correct. So now you got all the answers. You got all the answers correct. And yeah, it said nine. Um, how can I delete this? I want to delete this, but it doesn't allow me. Delete. No. Delete. Yeah. But I don't know how. Ah, this is because this must be for, for from the from the Zoom. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, it was from Zoom. That's why it didn't disappear because it was in front of the book. Okay, now we're gonna go to the next section. Our next section, and we have this. We have simple and complex and direct questions. Simple and direct questions use the statement word order and begin with expressions such as I wonder, I like to know, or I can understand. Why don't they have more buses at rush hour? The indirect statement, I wonder why they don't have more buses at rush hour. So we have to put this uh, restated, no? As it were a negative or affirmative sentence. So why don't they have? So we put here, I wonder why why they don't have more buses at rush hour? Like it were a negative statement. Complex and direct questions also uh, use a statement word order. In addition, they begin or end with clauses or phrases with be. These are the complex and direct questions. Now, it's, uh, will I be able to get into the class? My big concern is whether I'll be able to get into this class, into the class. Then how can anyone afford them, how, how anyone can afford them is beyond me. So this is the collocation. Now we're gonna answer this exercise together and I will request you after finishing to upload that, um, to upload to upload this, uh, this exercise on our Schoology. That will be the assignment to upload. We're gonna do exactly the same, the same procedure, okay? So look at the example. It says, I wonder if airlines will ever stop losing passengers' luggage. That's the, okay, where's the button? Where's the button? Where's the button? Button, 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 button. Okay. So here you have the first answer, no? You collocated the phrase at the beginning. Then let's try with second, number two. I like to know, remember that we write it in like it were affirmative or negative statement. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know how to correct a mistake on my phone bill. Exactly. I'd like to know how to correct a mistake on my phone bill. Number three. Sure. I have a question. Yes. Uh, why you quit the uh, do? You put I would like to know how I correct and don't put that do. Why? Because 
you when you use the indirect uh, complex questions, you made it the form of question and you use that normal statement like a negative or affirmative. In this case, we have in the before doing the modification, how mm -hmm. do I correct a mistake? Because how do I, that's the question form. How do I turn on my computer? I wonder how I turn on my computer. You see, I wonder. You introduce yes. that phrase. When you introduce the indirect statement, so I wonder, I would like to know how I turn my computer on. Yes? How do I, comp how do I turn uh, my computer on? How do I turn my computer on? How do I turn my computer on? Ah, you turn it pressing the button on the left, up in the corner. But when you introduce the indirect statements, the indirect questions, I would like to know, uh, do you know? Well, you, you use that, do you know if, not that's another type, no? But when you, this in simple and complex and direct questions, you put the phrase at the beginning and then you have to turn that sentence if it's a question form, you put it like it were negative or affirmative. You see or not? Yes, yes, yes. Would you like to try the third one? It's exactly the same, but now we're gonna use a negative because we have oh. can. Let's try the third one. Yeah, the thing I don't get is why I can't use my cell phone in an elevator yes the thing i don't get is why i can use my cell phone in the in an elevator yeah number four in the number four yeah, is like i want to find out how i can get tickets to solo concerts exactly i want oh, to okay. find out how i can get tickets to solo out concerts so okay you know that in when you do or you make the questions the syntax order is different for example i play soccer or let's say uh, reina plays soccer does she play soccer yes she does i wonder ah but that says i wonder i will change it now because it's just a question so we will see it in the grammar plus but um but it works like this. You turn it into the into the, the affirmative statement or negative. Uh, that that one, I, I don't want to see it yet because we're going to look at it in the grammar plus. And this is the, when you have a just no question, it becomes the the if one. You open, you, you have to use that if. You will see it. All right, then the next one, number five, it says, when will the government deal with global warming? I like to know. I would like to know when the government will deal with the global warming. Mm -hmm. I like to know when uh, the government will deal with global warming. Yes. Number six. I can understand why people do complain so much, oh, but I don't know where where put that is something. At the end, and you omit the do. Why do people complain so much is something I can understand. Why? Why people complain so complain much? So much. That, do. that do it submitted. You don't use that do anymore because you will complement it with is something I can understand. Okay. And here you go. Why people complain so much is something I can understand. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Do you have any questions? Not too sure. Perfect. So I want you to screenshot this. Mm -hmm. I want you to screenshot 
this this page you will upload it in the site and um the rest of you well the ones that watch the video uh, you will answer it you will have to post it and do the exactly the same procedure and sorry okay here we go yes eh, yo sí tenía una duda entonces por qué se iba el do y se because we don't use the 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 question form anymore the question form is omitted when you use the the indirect questions no the the simple and complex indirect questions it's omitted the question form that you you normally use no <coughs> so in the direct questions, you ask, uh, okay, I'm gonna go back. In the direct questions, look here. Say, so how can I get a, how can I get tickets so all concert? That's the direct question, yes? But well, let's gonna go to that one. Why do people complain so much? Why do people complain so much? That, that is my question form, why? Do people complain so much? That's the structure that you need to follow. Not the auxiliary do, and then the subject, and after the verb complain, okay? When you introduce the indirect question, you have to meet the question form. Are you following or not? Yes. So when you meet it, you meet it once that you uh, the question becomes a simple and complex and direct question. So you made it the question form and it has to be like if we're affirmative. So it was, that's why you say, why people complain so much? Simple, you omitted the do and that's it. Oh, okay, yeah. Number, let's see, the number two is exactly the same example. You know, how do I correct mistake? Okay, I will tell the same example that I said with, with Reina. How do I turn on my computer? How do I turn on my computer? How do I turn on my computer? It's the direct question. And you made it that do once that you introduce the uh, indirect uh, statement at the beginning. But in this case, I'm adding it at the beginning. This sentence you added at the end of the sentence because it's a bird to be a uh, statement. It's something I can understand. Is something the verb to be it's collocated at the end. So how do I correct a mistake on my phone bill? How do I correct it? You use the same phrase, is something I can understand. How do I correct a mistake on my phone bill? Is something I can't understand. So you will say, How I correct my how I correct a mistake on my phone bill is something I can understand. That it says at the end, no. Uh, complex and direct questions also use a statement word order. In addition, they begin or end with clauses or phrases with be. So in this case, you can collocate it at the end. Okay? Is something, is, is beyond me. So the collocation of this one is at the end. But you omitted the question form. So how do I? So you omitted that do. The auxiliaries are omitted. But remember that can, it's a modal verb and it works as an auxiliary too. So that's why this one cannot be omitted. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay. If you have any other question, let me know, please. All right, so I will send these activities, copy to course. You will find out uh, you are 13, 14. You need 10 tests. Yeah, this one. You need 10. You need tests. Okay. So here you go. And, 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 and write a complaint letter. Write a complaint letter. You have to write a complaint letter. Copy the course. The complaint letter that you will write, it will be about a product that you received that you bought in internet. Unit 10. 
Unit 10. Here you go. Copy. Please check your Schoology account. You can see it there that I post these activities. But look, uh, well, this is the activity that you will upload right now, not the screenshot, and doing the same procedure that I always request. Uh, write a complaint letter. Here, you'll, it's very simple. You will write a letter about the product you bought through an e-commerce. Could be, I said e-commerce because you will write it to Amazon, to eBay, Mercado, well, Mercado Libre, no, because it's in Spanish. Problems, I put just an example, the shipping, the price, the quality, etc. So you can complain about anything and you just want to have a solution. That's it. So you complain about the letter and you want to have an immediately solution. So you will make a letter. Understood? That's due to this Friday 15. Understood? Mm, yes. Yeah. But teacher, <laughs> this yeah. is an activity. Um, other activity like that, put that screenshot. This one, no, you have to write a letter. Uh-huh, yes, That's but ready. also we can send the, the yeah. screenshot, okay. Yes, in this part says page 85, oh, okay, okay. grammar. Okay, okay sure. And you. we are about to finish, you're welcome. You are about to finish and we're gonna do the next vocabulary in speaking and we're gonna conclude. You will have the grammar plus, you will have the grammar plus of the 10, 10B, okay, the 125, and that's on your folder too, and the uh, vocabulary plus part B2. We are gonna finish by collocating the next phrases, confused feelings, angry feelings, sad feelings. We're gonna shake it together. So, oops. Well, I wanted to show you about one by one. A confused feelings, we have baffled, confused, mystified, and stunned. That's to express confused feelings. Angry feelings, we have annoyed and enraged, frustrated, infuriated, insulted, irritated. Then we have sad feelings. We have demoralized, depressed, discouraged, humiliated, saddened. Okay? So that it. That it, guys. So I want you to do the grammar and vocabulary plus. Okay. I want you to do the grammar and vocabulary plus. And that will be pretty it. That will be pretty it. Do you have any question? No, t -shirt. The no t -shirt. Right. So that will be it for today. That will be it for today. Uh, this is stuff.